What's up everyone? I mentioned in our last cooking video that we were gonna try and cook a tofu sisig. Normally this dish is cooked with pork and chicken I think but we're gonna be doing a vegetarian version once again. We've never eaten this, I've never even seen it before so yeah it's gonna be an interesting one to cook. So this dish doesn't really have that many ingredients but we've got a few that we haven't cooked with before. So we've got these green bell peppers. At first when I started shopping here in the Philippines I thought these were chili peppers because they're kind of thin and in the west we usually have giant ones but yeah these are actually uh, bell peppers so they're not spicy at all. So we've got green ones, red ones and then we got the green chili peppers here. Uh, calamansi, we haven't used that in a while to sprinkle on the food. Got these as well, uh, Thai chili peppers, red ones. And here we got some ground black pepper, onion, garlic, spring onions, got quite a few of those, not sure how much we need to use yet. And here we got tofu, and we'll probably use both of these ones. So here we have our uh, sauce saleswoman. <laughs> so we're gonna be using uh, soy sauce, this seasoning, uh, liquid seasoning, no, and also oyster sauce and mayonnaise as well. Uh, so when we were reading about this recipe online, we saw that some recipes had mayonnaise and others don't have mayonnaise. So we just decided to use it and try it with mayonnaise. Yeah, so I guess it depends on the taste of the person. <laughs> yeah. I like the name of this oyster sauce, Mamacitas. <laughs> yeah, Mamacitas. That's a funny name. Spanish. Yeah. So a lot of the times we just look at the dishes on like Google Images and then we can pretty much work out the, the size of the ingredients that we have to cut. So that's what we've been pretty much doing for, for all the dishes so far that we've been cooking. Gonna chop up this tofu here. And from the photos, all the pieces of this dish have to be quite small so it doesn't look like very big chunks. Guaranteed, we don't have a, a shortage of tofu in this dish. Mm. <laughs> Maybe even too much, but. Lots of protein. Yeah, lots of protein. We'll eat it all. And yeah, Carol is just um, preparing the garlic because you're going to be doing the steamed rice as always, right? Mm -hmm. Brazilian yeah. style. Brazilian style, yeah, garlic and onion. So you probably noticed that we have about seven or eight of the peppers each but I've just sliced up two of them now and we have quite a lot so we're probably just going to use three of each color and I think we'll have uh, enough for the dish. to start cooking all the vegetables now probably took us about 10-15 minutes to cut and prepare everything once again we're using the, the corn oil and we're just gonna fry the, the tofu first and then after do we just do all the other vegetables together yes and then put the tofu with the vegetables okay sounds good we've never cooked with these little Thai chilies before they're they're so tiny so we're using yeah, five of them, five little ones. All right, time for the tofu overload. You gonna put it all in? Yeah. <laughs> so hot, right? 
really sunny day out here today. Absolutely boiling. About five minutes frying, we think it's okay for now. Just gonna put it on this plate here, and that's the most tofu we've ever cooked. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna just cook the rest of the vegetables all together. Shouldn't take too long either. Seasoning, quarter cup. It should be quarter cup. We don't know if it's uh, exactly quarter cup, but uh, the calamansi juice yep. or lemoncito. Lemoncito. Lemoncito juice. Mm. Uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Usually pretty thick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a gooey sauce, oyster sauce. Very tasty though. And how much may mayonnaise do we need? Should be a quarter cup as well. Okay, also. Yeah. <laughs> like ice cream. This is all cooking here. We're gonna put in the tofu now that we fried before, and yeah, now that's gonna absorb all the taste of all the ingredients that we put in there. It smells a lot better now. Mm -hmm. And we're also just gonna put some of this ground pepper here. For this dish, we're going to be using something that we've never used before. I'm not even sure what the name is. It's like that uh, sizzling plate. So we're just going to heat this now over the, the burner. Then when you put the food on it, it will just keep sizzling and stay stay hot. We've seen it in restaurants before, yeah, right? Yeah, we think but it's super nice. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be cool using yeah. this. Alright, so keep that on there. Alright, well, definitely sizzling now. You think it's ready? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we wanted. So this is the sizzling tofu sisig. Looks pretty awesome so far. Carol can do the honors first of this dish. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how this is gonna taste, right? Wow, it smells very good. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be spicy. <laughs> yeah, Carol tasted a little bit of the sauce to test it out and she said it already tasted spicy, so mm -hmm. we'll see how it is when you eat it all. <laughs> Looks amazing though. Yeah, I think with smells the, great. the mayonnaise, it looks very nice because it's like the sauce. It's like yeah, it looks creamy. Mm -hmm. So I'll try without rice first, just to taste yeah, the vegetables. Yeah. Mm. It is very tasty, very tasty. I like it a lot, but it it is spicy. But yeah. it's a, it's not like I'm dying. I can handle it and yeah I think you can handle it too but it's very good but that's also because we put five 
little Thai peppers yeah, in there. Yeah, you can you make it more spicy depending on what you put, like yep. homemade peppers or stuff like that. Yeah, so that's our excuse for the the Coca Cola today. <laughs> Ice cold straight out of the the freezer. <laughs> mm. I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. All right, I want to try. <laughs> So a lot of you guys said we have to eat the Filipino way, which I think is spoon in the right hand and uh, yeah, the fork in the, the left hand. They don't really use knives that much. That's actually something that's common throughout Southeast Asia and many other countries. We usually always eat with knives because that's what we're, we're used to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll do it the, the Filipino way. I'm going to put a bit on the side, but I think I'm also going to put some on top of the rice as well. Make it taste better. No. Straight away, uh, a lot of flavor. To me, it's really spicy though. I don't know right. if I just ate one of the the peppers. <laughs> Maybe. Here, Let me try just the the tofu with the spring onion. Yeah, the, the sauce is really, really tasty, like Carol said, really, like, extremely strong taste. The moment you put it in your mouth, like, straight away, it's just so much taste. Really mm -hmm. from the sauce, though, right? Not the, yeah, not from the vegetables the and the spice. It's hot for this, uh... <laughs> dish. Yeah, for this dish. Mm -hmm. Temperature. Yeah, just like the last plate. Tastes a lot better with, with, with the rice. rice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Mixing with the Brazilian rice is a, it's a good mix. <laughs> yeah, Filipino food, but with always with the Brazilian rice. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a good mix for you guys to try. So we're just finishing up here and I can definitely confirm this plate is absolutely delicious and I think it's one of the best ones, right, that we've had? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. We like the sinigang as well and we even cooked it another day, not for the video, just because we liked it. And I think we could cook this again another day for us. Yeah, I think so good. too. So which ones do you think have been the favorites so far? Pretty hard choice. What I think is funny is that the only vegetarian dish we'd always eat here is the pancit. Mm -hmm. And now I kind of feel like that's yeah, actually the worst one. No, not, not bad, but it's the least... Uh, Tastiest. Uh, it's hard to choose, but I think this one and the banana bag, yeah, I think they're my favorites. And also the sinigang, but for vegetarians, this and banana bag. Yeah, I might have to agree with you on that as well. And what was the one we cooked last with the squash? That was nice. Oh yeah, the ginitang, ginatang. Ginata and calabasa. Calabasa. Yeah. yeah. That one was good too. Yeah. They're all completely, completely different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all great in their own ways. So hopefully you enjoyed another cooking video. Still got uh, more videos to come. There's quite a lot of dishes. Like I said, it surprised me when looking online how many vegetarian variations you can do of the meals here. So yeah, we still got to work out what we're going to be cooking next, but there'll be more to come. So if you like the video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this from the Philippines. Follow us on Instagram also, and we'll see you in the next one.